everyone, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And this game for me was played today. It takes our YouTube editor one to three days to put up videos, um, especially since I, I've sent her several. So I don't know what order this is going in. But this game was played in the FIDE Rapid World Chess Championship. And Hans Zeman was black. And I can't pronounce his opponent's name, so you know he's good. It says Sem Khan Gokur Khan, although I think the Sem is pronounced Jem because it's Turkish. And I know some a Turkish grandmaster whose name has a C in it, but it's pronounced as a J. So I don't know. It looks like C-E-M Khan Gokur Khan, but probably if you're Turkish, you're like, who the hell is he talking about? Now, strangely, it says he's a GM. That's not the strange part. But it also says he's 2365. That's the strange part. However, that's his rapid rating. So I assume his slow chess rating is a lot higher. Probably he hasn't played a lot of rapid chess. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole game because I'm not interested in the whole game. I'm only interested in one part. Um, but I'm going to show you leading up to that. Also, this is five minutes with Ben, not five hours with Ben. Okay, Hans is black. He played the Karo Khan against Khan. Oh my God, that's crazy. Okay, Khan played E5, which is the advanced variation. That's the most common in Grandmaster play. Then he played the move H4. And I've discussed a lot of moves here with my students, mainly H6, H5, and the Dina Balankaya recommendation of Queen C7, which I made a video about a game that she won. But anyway, uh, Hans played H, uh, A6. Um, and the idea is black wants to play C5 soon, but not allow bishop B5 check. And if white plays G4, black wants to retreat to D7. So black is delaying E6. Well, that's exactly what happened. G4, bishop D7. And black is going to play an advanced French down a tempo, but the tempos are white moving the pawns over here, so I'm not sure that's so good. Okay, knight c3, e6, bishop e3, c5. The other advantage that black has over the advanced French is white can't play c3, which white always plays in the advanced French. So white took a pawn, and then uh, Hans forked. He attacked the e pawn and the c pawn. Queen d2, defending neither pawn. Take your pick, says... Uh, White, Hans decided the C pawn, they traded. White castled, black played knight E7. He put it in H, H5. Black also put it in H, Hans played H6. F4, knight C6. Looks like your typical advanced Carol Khan to me. Knight G, E2, and Hans decided castling king's side wouldn't be safe since white already has a pawn storm. So he castled queen's side. Knight a4, attacking the queen. The queen doesn't have a lot of good squares, so queen a7. And now white made the losing move. This is the position I wanted to show you. It's actually not easy to make the losing move here. Very few moves lose, except moves that obviously lose, like hanging your queen on purpose or something. Okay, but white played queen c3, which does lose. The idea is it pins the knight on c6, so we can play knight d4. Now, the other idea is to play knight c5. I don't like queen c3 anyway, other than the fact that black has a forced win. But I guess white really wanted to play knight c5. Okay, now black plays the move b5. And unfortunately for white, the knight doesn't have safe places to go. White played the aforementioned knight c5, since there's no other square for the knight. Then b4, how are we going to protect our knight with our queen? The answer is fries, but I think you knew that. White played the only move that saves the queen and saves the knight, queen e3. And then Hans did a little interference, okay? Now, some people probably still think that Hans may be using some kind of device, but Hans proved in this particular position he doesn't because there was interference. So there's no way he could have cheated, right? There's interference. How, how's he going to cheat? Okay, so that made me adjust myself in my seat because I was getting sort of antsy. So if you know what interference is, 
then you see how you interfere with the queen defense of the knight. Hans played d4, attacking the queen, and white can no longer save the knight. But it's a rapid game, so white played on forever. Took, and then white's, white's just down a piece for two pawns, and Hans can win up a piece. If you take the bishop on a6, I can play queen takes check and take the knight. So he played queen b6. And the game went on all the way to the end until black was going to get a queen, then white resigned. But the game went like 30, 40 more moves. They, they traded, 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 traded. Black was a piece up the whole game. And maybe for lower ranked players, they think two pawns is about equal to a piece. Yeah, put this on your engine and you'll see black's up like three or four. Anyway, so Hans won that game. He's not having a great tournament yet. But it is 15 rounds. There's two more days to go in this event. Maybe it's over by now. But for me, I don't know what happened. You guys are smarter than me. Anyway, that's been five minutes with Ben. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Bye, everybody.